What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing a Corset 2020 draft, where ideally we won't be going 1-2. Agent of Treachery is great. Gain control of a thing? Oh, man, we can build around this for sure. Wand is uh, not bad. Deal damage to a thing. R Risen Reef is very, very good. Corpse Knight is also fine. I think we're just taking the Agent of Treachery. That guy seems great. Ooh, Disfigure, huh? Oh, Agonizing Symphony and Disfigure. Interesting. Uh, so this is just a 1-1. One, one. Choose a color. Whenever you cast a spell, the chosen color, put a 1-1 counter on it. So I can be like, blue. And then, you know. Is Symphony better than Disfigure? I don't know. I feel like we can get more Agonizing Symphonies just because they seem to be pretty... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> underappreciated, but maybe they're not as good as I think they are. They feel good. Yeah, I'll just take the disfigure. Happy to catch you on Saturday. Hope Hunter held up. Hunter Mark's actually pretty alright with the fireworks, actually. He did not mind. <coughs> Scheming symmetry. Is that worth anything? Because these are not phantom drafts. I got I gotta find out. I gotta know. It looks like the answer is nay. Also, Chandra is like 20 tickets. Jeez. Omnath is 13 tickets. Soren, third most expensive card in the set. Okay, well, eh, I'll just take a Meteor Golem. That guy's insane. Scholar of Ages is also pretty great, but then we have, like, have a bunch of seven mana creatures in our deck, so. Uh, I like Aether Gust. Chandra's Outrage and Shock, also very good. Chandra's Outrage is the Agonizing Symphony, I guess it's called, and uh, Shock is the Disfigure of Red. So, basically the same removal package. Yeah, if we can get a Yarok with Agent of Treachery and Meteor Golem, I'm, I'm definitely on board. Or not Yarok specifically, but Yarok's the Wave Crasher, the blue one. I think we're just taking the Outrage. I'm not so committed to this, because there's nothing... Yeah, I think Outrage is just way stronger than any of the, the potential blue or black cards in that pack, so... And now we get an Ember Hauler, or a Scampering Scorcher, <clears throat> which is three one ones. Also, reduced to ash, not terrible either. Hmm. Double red's a little rough. Um, could just be scampering scourger. Scor scorcher, not scour it's not scourger. Let's just, or reduced to ash. I don't know. This is a tough pick. Three one ones is good. Yeah, I'll take three one ones here. We already have Agent Meteor Golem, Chandra's Outrage, maybe Disfigure, depending on which way we go. Whenever you activate a loyalty build over Chandra Planes, working three one, yeah, that does nothing for us. Chandra's Ember Cat is decent, but like, how many elementals do we have? That's a Golem. That's a Human Rogue. We can't actually ramp to one of our one of our more expensive cards. I think it's actually just negate here. I can see taking Centaur Courser, but I don't want to go to a third color here, so. We could also just take this as a 2-2 two, two for 2 that does ramp into, like, any elementals we get. I think that's fine. I've enjoyed the Corset, even though I haven't done well with it. I think I'm probably just missing uh, some, some interactions and things. But <laughs> this pack also not ideal. Sedge Scorpion is nice. So is Brightwood Tracker. I think it's probably Frilled Sea Serpent here. 
I don't think convoluted or arc or uh, our active treason are that great. I just heard Mike leave for work. Which is funny because he's supposed to go in at 4 and it's now 524. Uh. 32 or I'm I'm a big fan of Kelden Raider. I wish it was a uh wish it was an elemental. <clears throat> uh red also seems open. Like this pack seems pretty red. I'm just gonna take this guy because he's cheap. He's just a three drop, which we don't have yet. Blue, however, does not seem that great right now, so. Reckless Airstrike, Negate, Re retribu Retributive Wand, or Retributive Wand? That's the question, huh? Also, we can sack it to Destructive Digger. <clears throat> that actually seems fine. <clears throat> Being able to shoot something once a turn is not terrible and limited. Three mana is a little bit much, but Thank you. we can deal with it. Uh, Swenny Boy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. That game's flying. It's a 2-1. This guy's a 2-2 that gets better with each pack mastiff. I'm just going to take this guy. Man, blue is drying up. Maybe we're, maybe we're a disfigured deck. Wow, the Scheming Symmetry came back? My goodness. Dismal Backwater could be good. Could allow us to go Grixis. I'm not a big fan of Scheming Symmetry and Limited. Like... If you're going to... If <clears throat> if we're letting our opponent get any card they want and we're going to let them use it first because it's Limited... Does not seem ideal. Hey, Kelden Raiders comes back. <coughs> Yeah, I'll take the Raiders. We're still not necessarily black yet. All right, well, I feel like the red was very, very open. They're, they're kind of forcing the Sacrifice deck on us, but I don't know if that's even a deck. It was just a deck in Modern Horizons, so I don't know if it's also going to be a deck in Core 2020. But there is Active Treason. Ley line, wow, Leyline of Abundance. All right. All right, Cerulean Drake is interesting. Zephyr Charge, not great. Moot Prime. So it's like the red and the and the blue in this pack are not great. I would probably take Murder over Vampire of the Dire Moon. Man, I really like this Agent of Treachery, though. <clears throat> This is the best card in the pack, and it's not really close. The Scepter, I mean, you know, the Wand. The Wand is a little expensive, sure, but we also have Destructive Digger to, to sacrifice it to deal five. And draw a card like three three mana three mana to deal damage. It's it's a mana sink and limited. Like I mean, it's actually just fine. I don't really feel like it's gonna be. Yeah, I think it is murder. Ugh, blah blah. Flood of tears. Interesting, interesting. Well, without. I think reckless airstrike is probably <laughs> very good in this format. Where I consistently lose to flying creatures. Yeah. It's probably... I mean, it's better than all the red cards. I'll just take the Reckless Airstrike. I like having it. Wow, another... Another Scheming Symmetry. What does this guy do? Create a 1-1. One, one. Equals the number of creatures you control? Sure. I like Swiftwater Cliffs. I like the, the potential of either splashing... One of the colors, just so I can have a... Uh, I'm not <clears throat> super high on four mana guy or goblin smuggler here, so yeah, we'll just take the cliffs. And now we have two sources of blue in here. Any other lands we can get can also contribute to that. Winged words is nice. 
I mean, even, even if you're just playing this for three, it's still draw two, and, like, none of the red or black cards in this pack are very good. <clears throat> Alright, we're coming. We're bringing this guy back in, because he's very good. Uh, Dragon Mage. Seven mana, but it's still a 5-5. Five, five. Is that any good? I really don't want to refill their hand, man. None of these other cards would seem great here. Aerial Assault seems nice. Still 5-5. Five, five. Alright, well, <clears throat> see how that goes. Uh, Unchained Berserker seems fine. Dagger Sail Aeronaut, also not bad. I think I'm just taking the 3-1 uh, the Pro White. Soul Salvage also probably fine. I mean, it's a divination basically, right? I feel like we can get more Soul Salvages though. <laughs> Blade Brand, Lavakin Brawler. Interesting. The green is just really open here, whereas like these other subcolors are running here. Not not so much. <clears throat> I mean, Blade Brand is still just fine. It's it's going to trade, and it does draw you a card. It's not ideal, but... Is Agent of Treachery double blue worth splashing? I think if we can get, like, two or three more blue lands, I think we're, it's probably basically free at that point. I feel like these packs are coming very, very slowly. Feral Abomination is... It's okay. Yeah, it's a 6-6. Six, six. It's got Death Touch. Or it's 5-5, five, five, rather, 4-6 with Death Touch. Thank you. Apocalypsis, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Welcome back. Hmm. And then you see no green cards, no black cards, and no red cards. So blue is pretty much our only option here. I wonder if Zephyr Charge is any good. Just give you guys flying, like... I kind of like Moat Piranha. I don't, I don't actually like Moat Piranha that much. We're not heavy enough blue to really play this. I think we're just playing... Maybe we are. I don't know. I still, I'm still not committed on these colors yet. Goblin Bird Grabber. I guess is fine. Ugh. I'm like so... I'm so unsure of this. I mean, the, the Murder is the only real card I'm... So super interested in playing here. We could splash for the Disfigure or any of the other cards if we really wanted to. But I do feel like we're having a... Uh, bring you back, bring you back. Okay, well... We're having a little identity crisis with this deck here.
Walladil, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> good times, sir. Good times. Smuggler? <clears throat> Smuggler's kind of fine. Sage Road Denison, also kind of okay. Not in store in a pre release? Um, I just don't have any desire to spend the $40 on a pre release. And I could just draft on Magic Online for basically free. And I needed videos for YouTube anyway, so. You know, lots of little reasons. Plus, I don't have to wait between rounds. I don't have to, like, find food. I don't have to worry if I have enough time to eat. Captivating Gyre again. This card, I, I, have, I have yet to be unimpressed with this card. Second murder and a disfigure. <clears throat> I don't think we're black. I don't know for blue yet either, though. Uh, maybe we're double murder. I think our black cards are better. I think it's just murder number two, right? Ugh. We already have a Meteor Golem, so it's not bad. Yarox Fenlurker. That guy's not terrible. <clears throat> Alright. Cloud Seer. That's pretty good. I mean, this guy seems great, right? They just get, get rid of a card. How does the blue-black look? Terrible. We have four blue cards. <laughs> oh, man. Not good. Not good. I'll just take the Fenlurker. Urk, thank you so much for the Risa, buddy. Really appreciate it. I am back. I am also back. So we're both back. Vengeful Warchief is a good one. I'm a fan of this guy. Could take Swiftwater Cliffs. I don't think any of the blue cards, the single blue cards are worth splashing, though. Yeah, this guy seems good. All right. Well, we're on the... We're on the red-black train now. Again, I haven't seen any sacrifice outlets, really. So I don't know if that's even a thing. Pack Mastiff is kind of meh. I'd like more Pack Mastiffs. I guess it still pumps, right? Chandra Spitfire is a 1 through whenever its opponent deals non-combat damage. So we can actually shoot them with the wand and then attack for 4. It's also a flying blocker. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I mean, I think you can actually main deck Reckless Airstrike in this format. Not a fan of the Dragon? Not really. I don't like refilling my opponent's hand. I mean, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer, so it's, like, decent, but... I don't want to be like, here, I'll do you 5, draw 7 cards. <laughs> like, if there's one surefire way to lose games, that's it. Oh, 3-3 three, three for 5 makes 2 treasures. Oh, no, this guy, yeah. There, oh, you thought it was this guy, which I will 1,000% play. For sure. So there we go. We, we figured it out. We got to the bottom of it. This is just a shock for four mana instead of one. Which is a great deal. It's not a great deal. Um, I guess it's Vial of Dragonfire? 
Yeah, I don't think it's infuriate. Maybe... Maybe it's combat trick. Let's take combat trick. Uh, I don't really need a... I don't really like evolving walls in two-color decks. Oh, Dragonfire can't go face? That's interesting. I've never given it enough... Uh, I've never given enough of my time to actually read that and figure that out. Thought Distortion, another Destructive Digger. Hmm. I don't, I don't care about another Destructive Digger. I would. I don't actually mind this card. I've actually played this in Sealed and on, on Arena, and it was actually just fine. <clears throat> Bone Splinters. That's a Sacrifice Outlet. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I do like Ripscale Predator. I think we're taking the Bone Splinters, though. Especially when we have a uh, Scampering Scorcher, and maybe we can put an Act of Treason in here. These guys are actually pretty bad now that we don't have any Flyers, though. I guess we do have. We have Chandra Spitfire. We have uh rapacious dragon none of the four mana ones that are flying when they attack but then like oh yeah i guess you could attack with both and then once the other one gets flying you attack with it meh take tectonic rift tectonic rift can ram randomly win you games Holy indentures. Interesting, because you just get the creature if they die. Like, you just get to put it on their guy and kill it. It's like a two-for-one in the same sense of, like... It's not a two-for-one. It's actually a two-for-two, two, right? So you're getting the guy. You're getting... You're, yeah, you're, I mean, you're removing the guy. I'll go into it in a second. Unholy indenture. And fury number two. Hard piercer bow number one. I'm just going to take the bow. Infuriate. I don't care about Anvil. I think Anvil Rot Raptor is actually a trap. One toughness in this format's pretty bad for four mana. All right, this is twenty three. Is there anything better over here? I think one Infuriate probably makes the cut. Not, however, whatever card I just put in there. Second Act of Treason. I like playing one in un unholy indenture. You can put on your put on their big dude, then you murder it. Meteor golem, I barely know him. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty good. Oh, good times. I don't know if I even care about active trees. I'm like stealing their guy, and then bone splintering it. Eh, actually, it's it's not bad. Pack mastiff, we can probably do without. Uh, Spitfire is there because we also have retrib Retributive Wand to deal them non-combat damage, so we can attack for four. That's a 1-3 three for three. Like, it's a 1-3 flyer for three. I don't really... I don't think that's actually not good. <clears throat> it's not great, but yeah, I mean, there is a ton of flyers in this format, so I don't really feel bad about it. I think it's just want the Infuriate. 8-9... Mm, actually probably 9-8 we have double black, double black, double black pretty early and our only double red is on turn 4 so <clears throat> alright let's see if this deck does anything
Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. <clears throat> Goblin, Bird Grabber, and Chandra Spitfire. That's basically a combo. Sometimes there's so many of the leagues and have flashbacks of having to wait for your opponent to finish. Oh, I hate that. That's yeah, that's the best, dude. It drives me like it's so unbelievably like smooth now. You don't have to wait for every single player in the pod to build their deck. And then when you win a round, you remember you like win a round, and then it could be like could be thirty seconds until the next round, could be fifteen minutes until the next round. You literally didn't know. <clears throat> um, I like digger because it gets through here. Although we can just start floating bird grabbers if we hit a land. So I guess we're going to do that. I'd like to hit a red so we can go bird grabber float. Or we can just go float digger. Let that goblin catch bugsies with its mouths. <laughs> oh boy. Seems good. Pro red, huh? Well, that's a thing. This is Jesus. Oh, boy. It's okay, guys. Try to keep a try to keep a positive outlook. Always look on the bright side of magic. He's gonna fire this off. Fascinating. <laughs> I'm in danger. That's me right now. Well, this guy'll be good. Oh hey, four mana creature only shock. <laughs> I'm going to cast Bone to Ash on your Feral Abomination. Hundred living in a simulation bits. That's all I wanted. Unbelievable. Skeletal Cat, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hey, Ray, this creature has no protection from either red, green, blue, black, or white. Wow, that's that seems pretty average. Remember that time I said the exact card that they were gonna use on my six drop? Good times. Good times.
<clears throat> well, I could steal this guy. Good times. Good times. Everything is all right. Bone splinters. Meteor golem. Hmm. I actually haven't watched the new Hearthstone trailer yet. Any thoughts on the Black White misprint situation? I mean, I don't know what I could think of it. It's It sucks. It's kind of cool that we have a misprint that exists, but... I mean, if we draw blown, Bone Splinters, though, it's much better to wait. Yeah, I guess we're just taking seven. They're gaining seven. Like you do. Sure. Take seven. <sighs> Bone splinters and or not you. Hmm. TPO, enjoy your cue, buddy. <laughs> How did you lose this game? Oh, our opponent played one Cerulean Drake. And all of our cards were red. Oh, that's interesting. It seems like it was a good interactive match of Magic the Gathering. No, then they played their seven mana bomb. And uh, we died. Yep. Mm, boy. Well, I don't want to go to six here, so... Could have saved the act of treason, but I mean. I just wanted the 7 life for a 13. We also have Meteor Golem to deal with Angels, so. Seems good. Thanks. See, this is what I mean about just main decking the uh... Crutch Jr. with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Land or disfigure? Another murder, huh? I mean, I can kill this guy, which actually allows us to attack. But this is a 4-4. But they have one card in hand. They are a Bishop of Wings? So if we kill this, we attack with everyone. They have one card. We each have to deal four. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course you have something. Why wouldn't you? Oh, boy. A 
must be nice. I personally wouldn't know, but it seems like it would be, right? actually kill this because I don't really feel like having them uh, draw a bunch of cards at some point. We do have to deal with this, but we have a few turns and like just letting them keep... Okay, well, sure. Yep, that's all I... Yeah, I don't give a shit anymore. I think that's... <laughs> Whatever. All right, bring in this. <laughs> Tectonic Grips actually seems like a fucking joke in this format. Like, hey guys, you get to non flyers can't block, and you're like, but they're all flyers. Everything in this format is a flyer, and you're like, oh yeah. I'll keep the wand and take the active treason out. Pro white could be good. It's okay, they'll just play their pro blue guy with their their blue guy with pro red. Twelve packs for three one seems pretty insane. That's a great payout. So both of our, both of me and my opponent have the. Uh, I came here to give Frank five bucks and made to sleep instead. Bits. <laughs> but you did, but you did it. You did both. So it's good. Saturday's always the double prize. Oh, well, I would have went to that too. That seems, that seems legit. Yeah, we're just attacking with this guy too. Like, if you want to block with your Angel of Vitality, I'm game. Seems good. Well, thankfully we still have one creature we can attack with. Did we not block? We should have blocked. I don't know if we blocked or not. No attacks, huh? A 
all bone to ash this guy. I have so many bones to ashes that I, do, I don't even have anything to do with them. Eleven calendar had two earthquakes in two days, six six and a seven one. Yeah, that's what I literally my friend Mike, uh, who lives in California, said the same thing. He literally messaged me and said the same thing. Are you Mike? Are you secretly Mike? Lands are cool. So I can just go block here, block here, take three. They take eight, though, if they do that. That's an interesting... Are we just trading here? I wish I had a way to deal myself damage here, but I, I think this is a fine trade. You're going to bone to ash this stupid gobble? Wow, this is unbelievable. <laughs> the number of bone to ash you're playing is actually unbelievable to me. Mono rares dot deck. I feel like we're just losing to all the decks that have mono rares, right? Like dice bag of holding, or bag of holding, I guess. Bishop of wings, uh, the Safara five mana, the seven mana five five. Um, that's pretty good, I guess. I just don't care about killing any of these guys. Like, they all suck. <laughs> oh, gain four. Look, look, Mom, my two rares are combos. Oh, that's my other rare. Look, it's all my rares on the board. I have so many rares. Oh, Lord. Uh, what pivoted us into deck build and into black was that we had no other good colors. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. Like, we found a disfigure in double murder, so... I feel like every opponent I've played against has had a similar uh, a deck that's similar in this power level, and it's just like I don't understand if I'm just drafting incorrectly and not not opening, not getting past enough rares or. <laughs> I forgot about that. I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm not going to kill it, but it's. Cool. It's just, it's super frustrating. Like, I feel like we're not losing because of miss. We're not, like, playing poorly. We're not, like, making bad decisions. We're just losing because we can't get past our fuck. Our opponent's 1-1 one, one, uh, because the majority of our deck is red. And, uh...
they're just playing cards that are rare and happen to outvalue us. So. It does, it's, it's felt like a slow bomb rare format. It does not feel aggressive. It does not feel like it's, it doesn't feel nuanced. Like, it just feels like, well, and sometimes you just luck out and get the pro creature. Like, this guy's been, just been dealing three damage a turn for like the past 20 years and it's just, But it's not enough when your opponent, like, when there's, like, this ridiculous life gain theme in the set, and it's just like, well. Let's see if you have Bone to Ash number three in hand. You don't. I'm pretty sure I'm killing this, right? It removes three flying power on the board. Cretch Jr., stupid no fun card. Which one? <laughs> Which one? I also don't know why they brought back protection. Like, it's just... It's a non-interactive ability. It's an it's an ability that doesn't interact. Like, I don't understand it. At least hexproof you have combat. You're like, hey, I can still interact with this in combat. Cool, now I have nothing to do. Like, you can just block... You can block any one of these guys with this guy. You can block this guy with this guy, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we're just going to play all the lands we have. I mean, I would love to draw... Even if we draw a flyer, though, this guy's not great against their 1-1 spirit. So it's like, it's just... It's funny because they have a bunch of mediocre cards that are all... They've also drawn, like, what, six, nine more cards than we have? Two off of... Three off of this. Ten more cards than us now. Three off of this. Two off of the Bone to Ash. That's five. Uh, one off the Anticipate, which is six. What am I missing? Oh, two off, and then two off wing words, which is eight. They were on the draw, which is nine. Hmm. So we can only pump this guy twice right now, which is kind of sad. I guess we can attack with both. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so like they have to just block something. Not every set is for everyone. I mean, not every card is for everyone, that's for sure. But that doesn't mean your limited format shouldn't be balanced. Oh, we're 100% killing the bag, for sure. All right, well, we're grinding our way there. Oh, is this where they go planar cleansing? Oh my God. Oh Lord. Jesus, come on, dude. Uh. <sighs> I'm having a good time. As long as you guys are having a good time. Let's all have a good time. Oh yes, the swamp into bone splinters. I'm pretty sure they've actually played more uncommons and rares than commons at this point. 
Uh, one. Another uncommon. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine uncommons and rares. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seems good. I would probably also be having a better time. I think this actually, I think I'm actually running out of Corset 2020 drafts in me. Ben Stark made a tweet the other day and he's like, I feel like I've played five of the best games of Limited out of the past 10 Corset matches. I'm like, what? I mean, I love Ben Stark. Ben is amazing. But like, that just doesn't seem like it could be accurate. I just don't feel like this could be like, no. I don't get that impression at all. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh, another one. Hey, it's another uncommon, guys. Hey, it's another uncommon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, I'll bone to ash that. Oh, I guess that's true. It probably was sealed that he was referring to, but I still don't feel like that's... I still don't feel like that's different. Yes. Sleep paralysis, my creature. I guess we're going to three. Oh, let's not do that. Choose target creature. Sack this guy. I have another God's Willig. I'd just like you to know that. I feel like I should draft more rares. I wish I could attack with this guy and use the ability. But. Oh, here we go. Seven mana, huh? Let me guess. Get two. Yep, fantastic. Get two instants or sorceries back. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. God's willing and moment of heroism? God's willing bone dash, maybe? Planar cleansing and God's willing. Sure, that's a weird choice, but all right. Thank you. Ali Zettel, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, they should give the guy pro red, right? And then we're dead. So. Yeah, pro white and cleansing is not going to. Well, I guess we're not dead. This is comical. <laughs> See, if you took the moment of heroism like I suggested, you'd be in good shape there. Wow, if we had Dragon Mage, we could actually mill them. That's pretty funny. Sure. I mean, I don't think game, like so. Here's the thing: like, just because there's a ton of interaction and I'm I'm like surviving on, by like the skin of my teeth, I don't necessarily consider those good games. I usually just consider those like, I don't know. It's just kind of obnoxious because this is 
so many lands, dude. To watch. Yeah, okay. I'll give you that. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, well. Alright. I just want the card at this point. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Fascinatingly good, huh? Maybe not great. Better if they didn't play this guy. So now I just had to sit. Now I just get to sit back. Like we can't let them attack, and we have to keep a blocker back. So we attack with two. They take one. It's just not even worth it at that point. Oh boy. Yeah, we could try to mill them out. I mean, they have to know what the last two cards are, right? Are they just dead? They're probably never dead, right? How many lands do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. So, one, so I think only one of these cards is not a land. Could have triple blocked here, but both these creatures are lethal, and if we don't draw a creature, we're basically dead. So, Oh, wow, we just won the game. All right. Well, wasn't expecting that, but I will take it. I kind of want mine rots here, I'll be honest. I like Harper's Bro because it does kill the 1-1, one, one, but I think that's the only thing it actually does kill. Blade Brand doesn't seem that great. Thought Distortion also doesn't seem terrible against them. Interesting. Pack Mastic actually seems better than Goblin Bird Grabber because of the pump. Um, I might just play one Thought Distortion for the heck of it. Eh, I think with two. Eh, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I wish I could change that, but it's too late now. I will keep this hand. It doesn't have anything early, but... That's fine. They don't really have that much early anyway, so. Interesting. Three drop, three drop, six drop, six drop. I roll. I guess we have retributive. Retributive wand. Also, Planar Cleansing is great with this because it just gets to nug them for five. So this actually could be very good here. Get in there, you little drake. You're God's willing. Save yourself. Save him for a turn. Is 
fascinating. I think we're actually just going to wait to thought distortion. Yeah, I think we can just wait here. The problem is they go sixth mana, we go thought distortion. No, I think we're going to actually do this. Moment and planes, sure. We have to hit one more land so we can Meteor Golem their Angel when they play it. That's going to be a concern. Because we, I think we know they have it in hand. Or they have like two Bone Dash, which would be utterly sick. Crutch Jr., if you're in the descri subscriber Discord, definitely uh, you can feel free to post when you're streaming Commander. You could probably find some people playing uh, who will who will join in with you. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just kind of God's willing in response. Obviously. Moment of heroism. Okay, so they have no cards in hand, and they put a card on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. So they're one land away from Seraph. Man, it's too bad Meteor Golem can't hit this, but, that, you know, then it just defeats the entire purpose of how good this card is. That is fine. I will play a Feral Abomination. I don't feel like we need Meteor Golem just yet. Plus, we know their uh, their God's Willing is gone, so. I feel like we just meted very well against this deck. You got it. Yeah, I didn't know what you meant, thought, thought Distortion after the Angel. I didn't know what that meant. I really don't want them to just kill this guy, so next turn we can actually just keep up. We can keep up Retributive Wand and Reckless Airstrike this turn, and also have Chandra Spitfire to deal four. That's just good football. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I agree with you. You ever just open a pre-release pack and none of the rares contribute towards any coherent deck? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. This is the game one? My god. I uh, really don't want to block because then you're just going to shoot, so I'll just take two. <laughs> nice bone to ash we could have actually killed this oh, I thought this was an instant I think I think we're still in good shape here that's fine oh no 
Dang it. Oh my god, if we just lose this game because we just messed up with the reckless airstrike, I'm gonna cry, dude. I think we should still be fine. So what we got? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we actually have a ton of mana. So they block here. They take four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I guess they can still activate this, can't they? Yeah, that's fine. I have not seen the new Yarok in action. Yeah, all right. Well, this is fine. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're shooting that? Oh, then they're dead. This is fantastic. Yep, that'll do. What does it say? When it's put in the grave from the battlefield, there's five inch any target. Combos! Connected to the neck bows. That doesn't make any sense. Wow. For all your rares, we just made you put them all in the trash can. Wow. Maybe Ben Stark was right. Maybe you just have to be really good at this game and then you can just play, you can outplay your opponents. To be fair, I don't know if that's what happened. I think we just actually boarded in a bunch of like hosing cards, like make you discard a bunch of things. But, you know. Whatever gets the bills paid. No league, Hearthstone. I'm, I'm making. We're making videos here. We'll watch it in between. God. That does mean two more matches. You are correct, sir. Yeah, I'm okay with this hand. If we can hit a black mana, another swampy, the video will get out, will get you out of your funk, and you'll be inspired to be able to, be able to do any... Wow, that is a... That is uh. That's an endorsement for a Hearthstone trailer, my, my dude. Okay, well. You've watched like eight times? Well, we did not draw. Um, a land for our Yarox Fen Lurker. Whatever the hell this creature is. Whatever this weirdo's doing. Swamp. We're playing against old Runicape. Runicape himself. Okay, well, now you're just now you're just showing off. Well, I feel outclassed here already. Okay, 
This is an, oh, an elemental cat? Come on. Jesus. No, sir. I don't like it. Well, that's not going to do anything. Get royal. T How dare you? How dare you? Don't you talk to me like that. Okay, that's enough Boreal Elementals. Land. Okay, we're doing it. Basically can't lose now. What do you got here? <laughs> uh, why do you think Moonfolk Tribal is so dominant in modern? I think the deck is just too strong. I think Wizards is just uh, it's made they've made it a, a deliberate point to put, print a lot of Moonfolk recently, and the, all of them are pretty pretty above average power. And with the synergies you have between the different Moonfolk, I think it's actually been uh, I don't know. I mean, I, they might they're probably going to ban some of the Moonfolk on on Monday. I would imagine. I can't imagine they're they're satisfied with the way the, the format's looking right now. But you know, we'll see. I guess. Really? This is what you want to do with your life? Yeah, it's not. I, I mean, I it's. I think if they're gonna ban a card from that deck, it's probably not gonna be Hogak. But something is. I think there's gonna be some. There's gonna be some sort of unbanning or banning. I'm pretty sure. But on the other hand, Wizards might just want to see how it shakes out. Wizards doesn't like making rash decisions to formats like this. And there's literally been the the for, like Modern Horizons has been legal for, I don't know, two weeks now. I don't know if that's gonna be. Uh, enough to. There, I, there could just be not not be another evidence, not be another evidence. There could not be enough evidence to support a banning for, for anything really. I don't know how we're not just going to die to this guy, but... Pro-white, buddy. What are you going to do about that? Literally nothing, because I don't care. Yep, your deck is insane. There's no way we have to get through any of this. <sighs> We're in a cape. Why would you do this? 
This deals three. Most of their... Uh... Wow, look at that flavor text. That's insane. <laughs> oh, man. Solid flavor text is solid. I have an ampersand LT semicolon I ampersand GT semicolon great ampersand LT semicolon forward slash I ampersand GT semicolon idea. I thought this was cursing. Like I have a fucking great fucking idea. Like I thought this was just curse words. That is real reckless. You ain't joking. I want to actually, uh, I'm going to screen capture this. You guys know, you guys know about the screen capture? I'm going to do one of these jobbies, and then I'll go print screen. Oh, all right. That's cool. Thanks, Windows. More like win don'ts. If, if, am I right? All right. Anyway, heart piercer seems fine. Actually, Infuriate's all right. I mean, they have... In oh, boy. This guy seems good. They got a bird grabber. Ripped a foil lotus field and sold her 50 bucks. Pretty. That's actually all right. That's an okay thing to do. How come this Vengeful Warchief isn't a uh, an elemental? So I could... How come it's also not a Chandra? Who would buy a ripped card, though? <laughs> I ripped this. And then I sold it for $50. Why would you do that? There's a kitty cat over here staring me down. This hand would be better if it was different. Hmm. Well, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think this hand... Alright, so I only cast an elemental spell or a Chandra Planeswalker. I have... This is a Thrall? Come on. Come on. Just so you know, that flavor text is an MTGO bug. Get out of here. Is this where we get boned ashed again? I'm so tired of getting boned ashed. Why don't they have any plays yet? Is it just, mo is it just mono boreal druids? Here comes a boned ash. Oh my god, really? I get Bone Dash? Oh, Convolute? I guess that's better because you don't draw a card. Doesn't feel better. And you're going to unsummon my Fire Cat? Wow, you're being rude. Is my Monarch still in the queue? It is. <laughs> what, what if I was like, no, I took it out? <laughs> this would be hilarious. I'd be like, no, nah, man, sorry. Hold on a second. Let me actually check and see what we got here. Yeah, currently I have four decks. It was, not anymore, sorry. Get wrecked. And you'll be like, why? And I'll be like, because I just didn't want to do it anymore. Well, that's just rude. Last time I ever support this guy. I didn't like his stream anyway. Oh, that's just... Now you're just being a jerk. Thank you. What up, kitty cat? Scoony love. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. How was Mike feeling this morning after all those nugs? I mean, he didn't go to work until 6 when he's supposed to be at work at 4. So... But that's pretty much par for the course, I think. Like, he's basically late every day, and it drives us insane. It drives me and Felipe utterly insane. Well, 
Would you look at that? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I really don't want to trade here, but I don't really want to waste a Shunner's Outrage either when it kills Boreal Elementals. No, oh, I guess there's... Check the paper flavor text. No. Alright, so it says I have a great idea, right? What are we talking about? Is magic pay to win in the sense that I can pay more money to get better top decks? Have I not paid enough? Is that the problem? I just haven't paid for the really good top decks? Feels reasonable. Ooh, aggressive. Did I miss a couple of faith in politics questions? Or comments, rather? Man, these are aggressive. Just some random troll. double black for this because I feel like I have to I really don't like murdering that fish but like you know it's hard to get by guys hard to get by that fish you know what I'm saying you dang fish murder hey buddy listen that fish knew what it was. It's a piranha, man. It's a piranha. I don't feel bad about killing piranha. Well, no, that's not true. I probably would. They, if they're if they're if they're just leaving people alone, I could steal this. Get in there for four. But what does that get? Where does that leave us? I think we want to trade here. I don't think our cats... I think our cat being able to trade for this Cloud Concealer is pretty good. I'm so tired of losing to fucking rares, dude. I'm like so over it. Uncommons too, I guess. Really busted uncommons. What do we get here? 3-4 and... 5-4. Alright, sure. What if they play this guy and we just active treason and kill them? I mean, they go to 1. That'd be sick, right?
if we wait a turn, then they play this guy as well. So it doesn't really do any. What does that do? Then they have two. Then they still have a blocker. So then they go block, or they block the big guy and they don't go to one. Like saying wait a turn on act is just like assuming that they have nothing, which we know is untrue, and that they're not going to play anything whatsoever. Whereas I could get them to one. The wand is still in the deck. I don't... So if they do play elemental and they don't attack and they attack with this guy, it's it's potentially six. It's aggressive. I would also not mind drawing the the three elementals card. All right. Well, they could just have nothing. I don't know, man. So we have nine mana. If we act here, they block, they take three. I don't think they're blocking here. I think they block here and they take five, go to one. If they block their own silverback, we draw a card. They still take four. I think we steal the silverback here because we have to pay two more for this. So we have to pay five for this. We can actually play wand and activate wand this turn if we just take silver back here. Uh, because if we take this, um, well, I mean, we could do that, sure. But like, if they, ha I don't know. If they have anything, if they have anything, it's bad. It's either, it's bad either way, I guess. Just don't have a second convolute, I guess. Where they're like Pulse of Marasa gain six. Oh my god, how are we winning these games, dude? These opposing decks just seem far better than our decks. Because you're listening to chat. Yeah, I don't feel like that's accurate. I guess this is fine. Active treason, surprisingly all right. Yeah, I'll just smell like this, I guess. I don't love this hand, but I do like that this can take out a Risen Reef. And we have all our colors, so. That guy's good. Have you seen Spider-Man? Yes, twice. I'm not sure six mana for one damage is efficient. <laughs> it's not, which is why you pay three mana for it. Got them free points in there, boy. I like it.
Did I just unsummon that dude? Wow, that's, you're being rude. You're being rude, Runicape. More like rude a cape, am I right? I don't, I don't actually know. That guy's very sizable. I'm not thrilled about it. If I had a way to get rid of this wand, that'd be great. Alright, four-turn clock. Let's... I think Toby McGuire did a great job. Can't wait to see what happens next. Wow. Okay, well... This is what I was afraid of happening. Oh, well that's good. Isn't that special? Okay, well we're doing it. I've missed you live, non-YouTube Frank. Mm, take three. Meteor Goblin can get rid of Dand? I assume you mean Wand. But at this time, I'm just more interested in... killing the Boreal. Gerido. No. Elemental. You guys know what I'm saying. Go to nine. All right. Correct, Boreal does not add costs to abilities. Oh boy. Yeah, if we actually play Meteor Golem first, we're not gonna be able to get two points in, so we're gonna attack first. Oh, no bone to ash, thank goodness. Uh, this guy. What is even happening? After that game one, I have no idea how we're ahead here. Well, that's rude. You're being rude. Retribute of Wand going the distance here, I bet. Feeling good about it. They have seven mana now. Are they going to play five five plus two two twos? That would be sick. No. That's actually fine. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's play you, and you, and you. Now we'll just play land for the sake of it. They're not going to make us discard with their... Because now this guy gets flying. This guy just easily kills this guy. These are all relevant attackers on this board, so... Seems fine. Now we wish we kept that land. Still, we can just pass here. Yeah, this is basically just me, right? Except for it's got he's got the weird, like... Are we winning this game? Oh my god, so many sleep paralyses. Trigger Phoenix. These guys are real tired. This 
Sometimes you just want to replace your uh, replace your your swamp with a mountain. Wow, I have no idea how we lost, how we won this game. I don't have any idea how we won the past two matches. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not. Uh, I don't. I'm really confused as to what's going on. <sighs> Anything like Titans in the new course set? Yeah, there's a there's a cycle called Cavaliers. They're close, but not really the same. They're not close. It's, they're good. They're fine, but like. There are no titans. Let's put it that way. But what is, am I right? What is a titan? Runicape, your deck seemed insane, and I had no confidence that I was going to beat you in that match. After game one, I was like, well, your deck's unbeatable. Uh, I was pretty convinced that you you were going to crush me. Uh, just like round one, which I think you saw, I don't have any idea how I'm 2-0 right now. But I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. Twas the act of treason that got me. Yeah, treason. Treason, is it? I don't like this hand. Okay, I'll keep this double mountain, double black hand. Uh, what are we getting rid of? Let's get rid of the fen grabber. Seems like an easy choice. Alright. I was hoping I had a way to sack it so I could draw a card, but you didn't. You just wouldn't. You just wouldn't let me do it. Because you didn't put a card in my hand, I guess. I don't know what that means. There's a kitty cat. Hope you aren't running that shattered perception no more. Wow. <laughs> nice. My god, look at this life gain dot deck over here. What is even happening? I guess we could have just attacked with this guy. But then it gives them more options, right? Like, they could block it. They could not block it. One, two, three, four. We have four mana. Octoprofit. Hmm. It's murder. What are you doing, little man? Got a little man down here. What's up, chief? <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. Oh. 
Kretz gift Kretz, Kretz gifted with the junior subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. See what I did there? I took my misspeak and I owned it. I owned it. Yep, definitely bringing in all of the mind shatters now, mind rots now. Uh, planeswalkers are mythic, but ways to deal with planeswalkers also pretty mythic. I don't, how do you beat this? Come on, come on. We've had some really tight victories previously, but I think beating the Chandra on seven with two emblems. Yep, yep, good times. But it was not good times, it was bad times. Your wand can raise, sir. I don't, you know, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Yeah, we even play this. They just go negative three, and they kill literally all of our things. They get to, they lose this guy. Big deal. Yep, that's a card, all right. Okay. Act of treason. Bring in the mind rot. Bring in the mind rot. Now we're bringing this back in. Especially on the play. Nope, don't like that. I'll deal with it. I mean, if we go 2-1 and lose to a Chandra, like, I guess I don't feel terrible about it, but... Is this Phantom? No, the regular sets don't usually have Phantom drafts. I don't think they do, anyway. I can't imagine how much, how they, how cheap, how much cheaper they'd even be. Healer of the Glade. <laughs> Aramo, thanks for saying so, buddy. Let's go, little bird. And we'll kill this guy. All right, not bad. It's not. It's not bad. Little man has departed. Any love for a randomator in current standard? I don't have any. I don't have any dislove for it. I just haven't seen a randomator shell that I. I mean, if someone showed me a deck, I'd be like, "All right, cool, looks good." But like, I just haven't seen it. So I mean, like. Silverback Shaman. Shaman? Do you guys say Shaman or Shaman? Or Shaman? Shaman, Shaman, or Shaman? Shaman. 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 Sh never say Shaman. I say sh that's You just... Shaman? <laughs> oh, Lord. I feel like I just opened up a, a can of worms here. A real point of contention for all you uh, armchair shamans. Oh, there's a lot of lands. Well, two and two. Guess we can't do anything against one Octo Prophet. See, when your deck fails against one Octo Prophet, it makes you wonder the legitimacy of your deck. Oh, that's good, too. Are you going to bounce your own Octo Prophet? I probably would have tacked first. Orzhov. Orzhov is how it's pronounced, though. So, I mean, like, I'm not going to not pronounce something correctly just because someone has an aversion to that pronunciation. That seems weird. 
<laughs> the cat is going for it. What's he, what's he going for? I'm finally catching you live after watching all your YouTube content for like a year and reading your articles for me on Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad uh, glad to see you live. Oh, another Octo Prophet. I see. I don't have an opinion, but I'm still offended. That's fair. That's your right. It's just, I know. That was a joke. That was the joke. That's the joke. So this guy can be a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we're just taking four here. Let's pronounce it. Well, but that's not how my name is pronounced. So I'm pronouncing things correctly. And you're pronouncing my name incorrectly to kind of like show me. And that seems weird. Uh, Hunter is a Pointer Greyhound mix. Stop attacking me with these guys. I have no sense of color power balance in this format. None whatsoever. And that's how you lose. You have no board. They play a Chandra. They kill your board. And they have a Planeswalker with three. That pluses two. <sighs> well. I mean, they can literally just kill this with Chandra and still, we'll still have an emblem. We're still on a 12 turn clock with no no pressure, so. Or you could just have a 4 4 rare flash creature. That's an option as well. <laughs> so, yikes for me, dog. So, they're in a position where they can just plus this and make a wolf every turn. Oh, I guess they're not going to do that. They're just going to attack for four. We're going to take two. Go to six. Christ. And if we hit a land, we're just dead. Well, not a land. Okay, well. <laughs> they just make an emblem. <laughs> Two turn clock that we literally can't interact with. Good times. Yeah, they're like, we don't have to do anything. We'll just kill you. Yep, alright, that's cool. What is, you literally have no outs to that. Oh, man. Triple Chandra emblem. That's a real thing. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon, on Twitch. You can check me out at CoolStuffInc.com, ManaTraders.com. All those links and promo codes are in the description, and they're great ways to support the stream if you don't subscribe or follow, uh, which you can also do on Twitch. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Really appreciate you hanging out.